All right, tomorrow is when it's really going to start heating up. It's going to feel like it's above 100. Yeah, is, is it time to break out those adjectives? Sweltering, stifling, maybe even swampy? Swampy, yeah. all, all the yeah. adjectives are going to work well. So it's good that uh, if you could get to a pool, you know, that's a great way to keep cool. Cool off, yeah. Uh, Ken, you can rent him out to do an inaugural cannonball. Absolutely. Oh. And he's at reasonable he's, rates. Reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, it's kind uh, of a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that you can uh, get cool is what you should do for tomorrow. Popsicles, air conditioning, all the good stuff. Now, if you don't have that, remember there are cooling centers around. Temperatures this evening aren't too bad. Uh, so tonight's a great time to take the dogs out for a walk. Uh, temperatures, you're talking uh, lower 80s the next couple of hours, upper 70s uh, as we get later into the evening. Now, tomorrow's going to be a day where early walks, late walks, but the heat of the day, probably not good. The pavement's going to be very hot for those puppy paws. And of, of course, it's just going to be so hot outside. You don't want to be walking uh, an animal that wears a fur coat around. Now, uh, 91 degrees is what we're expecting for a high temperature in Pittsburgh tomorrow. That's the actual air temperature. You add in the moisture in the air, and that's where we have some issues. That's where we're going to have a feels like temperature that's going to make a run towards the upper 90s to lower 100 degree range. So you can see here 101, 102, 103 degrees is what it feels like tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock. We're going to be looking at these uh, triple digit, if not near triple digit heat uh, indexes all the way until we get into the evening hours. So still 7 p.m. real close to 100 degrees is what it's feeling like in Pittsburgh, Washington, Butler, Catanning, Connellsville. So the heat and humidity, they're going to gang up against us tomorrow. It's still going to be hot and humid on Thursday, but the difference here is we have a cold front dropping in, and that is going to touch off some thunderstorms, and that's why Thursday is also a first alert weather day. So we have tomorrow for the heat, Thursday, because of thunderstorms that are going to develop, and damaging winds are the greatest threat that we're seeing right now, and most likely coming in mid-afternoon and into the evening. So when it comes to future cast, you'll notice tonight into tomorrow, early in the morning, just one of those little isolated little pop-up showers right around daybreak. That moves on. That is going to unleash the heat and humidity. That's the warm front coming in. The rest of the day is looking pretty dry. Thursday, we start off dry, but Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, that cold front drops in, and you can see we're kicking off some thunderstorms along that front as it passes through the region. That should be gone by Friday morning, and then I think Friday through the weekend, we should have some very comfortable conditions around as the heat, the humidity drop, and we look for sunshine to continue. 68 tonight, partly cloudy, a late thunderstorm. That's with that warm front. An early isolated thunderstorm tomorrow, 91 degrees for the high temperature, but it's going to feel like triple digit heat. That's why we have the first alert weather day getting into the afternoon and into the evening. It is just going to be downright hot and humid. Actual temperatures, 90s, again, closer to 100 is what it's going to feel like. Hot again on Thursday. Temperatures come down from there in the wake of that cold front. Look at this weekend, lower 70s Saturday, mid 70s Sunday, and then our temperatures start to go back up. Monday, 79 degrees, 88 by Tuesday, but it looks like a lot of sunshine's coming our way. So when it comes to rain and thunderstorms, what we get the next couple days looks to be about it.